Arbor Heart Fair is huge. It's awesome. Um, this is my first time and I'm really loving it already. And there's so many nice people coming out and just, it's just great. I decided to be a part of the show because I grew up in Heartland, Michigan, which is about 40 miles north of here. And as a child, actually, I helped my friend's mom doing art festival. So Ann Arbor has a has a long history for me because I don't I wouldn't be a festival artist were it not for my friend's mom and be trying to figure out what to do with my life after school and that's how I became an artist, a festival artist. So here I am and I've been doing it for about 10 years now, full time. Uh, I, I go all the way to Florida, Philadelphia, Baltimore, but this is a closer show for me so this is maybe a five hour drive. Um, so, it's a relatively easy show to do, but you also deal with, with reputation, you know. Um, I come back to this show because I sell um, larger pieces, which means, you know, I, I've got more invested in, in these bigger pieces, right. I sell them for more, so it always makes me happy to find a good home for a piece that I've spent a lot more time making. And so, last year, uh, there's this balance. These, these, uh, this show goes till nine o'clock, three nights in a row, and, and then six o'clock, so it's an extremely long show. That's the downside. The upside is people buy my larger pieces and I'm finding good homes for them. I'm participating in the Ann Arbor Art Fair because they asked me to come and be a featured artist. This is my fourth year participating, um, so I'm back here again this year to work with them. Um, I come back each year because of the atmosphere here. It's so great. I meet so many different artists here and everybody's got a unique story and it's so fun to see the different types of work and it's really inspiring to be um, surrounded by so many great artists here. My business is Joyful Creations. It's about handbags and accessories for men and women and I use cork leather or cork fabric known as um, natural leather from a tree. I follow a lot of sewing boards and last year there's this woman selling cork and I thought that was a great medium. I hadn't seen it yet and so I just bought some of it from her and tried it out and made some bags and everybody just really loved it. So I thought it was a good area to go into because I hadn't seen it anywhere yet. Cork is just great. It wears well. You can wash it with soap and water. You can, you know, it's pliable. You can do anything with it and the fair is great for anybody to come down, young or old. It's really good. So I make color reduction woodcuts about animals, ecology, and the environment. And most of my pieces have themes like invasive animals, endangered animals, um, island animals, what happens when animals live on islands and become very strange. I've always loved animals, and so it just made sense. When I started melding my interests in art and science together, that's when my art started taking off and making sense to me. Well, you meet all kinds of people doing these shows, and you know, my customers are my best asset. I've met amazing people from, you know, really, really wealthy individuals who invite me to their homes or second homes and have places to stay, so just people in general who love animals and love outdoors and love the environment. I mean, my customers are the best. I go all over. So I've been to Florida, I've been to Chicago, I'm going to Cape Cod later in the year. I live I live in Ithaca, New York now, so it's I stay mainly East Coast and then go to Florida in the wintertime for a little bit. And come here. Well, I make uh, wheel-thrown altered ceramics, so uh, there, you know, it's usually there's some function to it. I usually start most things that are, that are on the wheel. People think of as being functional, but say, for example, when you start putting a bottom on it, then you kind of lose the function. So a lot of my pieces have to do with with shapes that are started on the wheel, but then cutting and altering them, folding them, and then adding different pieces together. That's at least for my wheel-thrown pieces then lay, um, surface decoration becomes a real important part of that because as you layer the pieces, you're gonna get different colors that are overlapping one another. And so I do a lot of work with, with surface decoration as well as texture. So they're really bright colors, but they're almost always contrasted with other um, more traditional glaze elements. 
So I went, I, I went to college for ceramics in particular and took a long hiatus after my master's, did some other things, where I was you know, a family essentially. Um, but I felt like uh, all of a sudden I needed to get back into that, like that was something that was kind of missing. Um, I have, a, I have a, a regular day job, which is sort of, you know, if this is right brain, then that's left brain, you know, um, where I manage web servers and database servers. And I find that when I'm doing this, my personality is somehow, um, like I feel it should be. Like when I come to these fairs, I'm usually really happy and gregarious. I'm, I like talking to people because, you know, it's kind of like when somebody says something about my work and they ask a question, it's kind of like I can answer, well, oh, you want me to talk about me? Sure, okay, right, that's not too hard, but that's what this really is. It's an extension of who I am and what I do, and it, I think, helps my personality, you know, because it makes me happy to do what I'm doing, and to sell my work to other people, too. Find good homes for them. If I can find, if somebody really likes the piece and it speaks to them, that's, a, that's something that I hear people say, then I, I want them to take it home, right? And so, uh, I find that out by talking to them, right? So I do my part, and hopefully they do theirs, because they'll look at something. I mean, even like this car girl, they'll say, what's that for? You know, and I kind of like, or they'll say, is that a dragon? You know, they want, they want to know specifically something about it, but usually I, I try to get them to do their job. I was like, well, what do you think it looks like? You know, and to get them conversing about it, because that then gives me an idea of how much that piece speaks to them. You know, and so, I mean, you know, I had a fellow come in and he bought one of these last year, but he broke it. So he came in here for, and talked to me for an hour about how to repair it. Next thing you know, he came back and he said, well, what about this piece over here? And so I kind of felt for him. And so I gave him a good, I gave him a good price because clearly he's, he's not only committed to the one piece and repairing it, but he also wants to extend that. Right. So I think I found a really good home for that, for those two pieces. My name is Tess Marhofer and I'm a street painter. A street painter comes and does large scale, usually chalk drawings or um, sometimes I do um, murals with paint, but today I'm doing a, a chalk drawing with soft pastel chalk. Today I'm drawing um, a Gustav Klimt piece. I'm doing a recreation of one of his pieces called Hygieia. It's part of a larger painting that he did um, called Medicine. Well, I am also, um, in addition to doing the street painting, I am also a medical illustrator. So when I'm not here, um, I'm at home working with different healthcare physicians doing images for them, which is great. So when I go to this fair and other fairs as well, um, this one in particular, I meet so many different artists and artists that have never been to Michigan that are all over from the country. Um, and they bring to the table so many different styles and so many different aesthetics. So it's really great to talk with them um, about their inspirations and where they get their ideas from and their concepts. So it's really interesting to hear um, everybody else's experience. We all kind of share the same experience from this fair in particular, um, just because the atmosphere is so great they take care of us here the people coming to visit are so interested in the art so it's always great to have a good crowd that are really driven by the art